Well, now as help pours in from Louisville and nationwide from Eastern Kentucky, a Louisville woman with ties to the area is sharing her story. Her family lost everything in just hours. Life for her parents and sons changed as they knew it. Connor Steffen talked to her today. Record high currents. There's no electricity, no water. Deadly flash floods. Starts in my hometown. And, and all April back Stevens can do. Literally a mile from where my parents are. Is sit and watch the devastation watch. unravel. This is what's left. From behind the screen of her phone. Now living in Louisville where it's dry. Watching her hometown suffer. Mm -hmm. it, it, it's like there's no words really. Um, it's like. When you see it, it's like, how? In Letcher County, April has since moved away, but her family. My mom, my dad, two of my sons, my aunts, my uncles, pretty much my entire family. All still call Southeast Kentucky home. Their lives all changed within the matter of hours. My parents' home is, it's, it's bad. And their house was completely surrounded. Sitting atop a hill engulfed by floodwaters, like an island. Yeah, it was in its own little lock. It looked like it was floating. I mean, it was just there. For April's family, everyone is okay and safe. What they've lost pales in comparison to the growing number of lives lost. It's just unreal. I mean, unreal. You can't survive without water. As reality started to sink in, her family, like many others in Letcher and across the region, are left without shelter. In Eastern Kentucky right now, much is uncertain, but one thing, they need help. They do. And my mom said it best this morning. She said, we don't care who or where the help comes from. We just need help. As you can help some of these families, we'll have a little bit more on that for you in just a second here. But April, a, GC, a JCPS teacher says her school Ramsey Middle School will be one of many drop-off locations in the area, accepting items like water, cleaning supplies, trash bags, and more.